Ellie De La Cruz and O'Neill Cruz, who, fair or not, have been compared a lot. If their name was not both Cruz, would we still be making these comparisons? The answer is yes, because there are yes. only so many six foot six, six foot seven, you know, short stomps who can throw the ball 150 miles an hour and hit the ball 150 miles an hour. That is what both of these guys are. And now they both exist in the NL Central. Obviously, from a fantasy context, I'm sure you're focused on the power speed combinations, but it seems like you are optimistic on both of these that they can hit enough to be, you know, worthwhile players. Yeah, I get it. De La Cruz is this year's most polarizing fantasy player. His range of outcomes literally includes 20 homers, 50 steals to being demoted to the minors. I mean, there there is still talk about and the Reds are absolutely loaded with young talent. And this is the player that had a 62 WRC plus in the second half last year. But he also hit 13 homers and swiped 35 bags in fewer than 100 games as a 21-year-old while doing that in the second half. I don't know what to make of his swinging. He really adjusted at the plate last year, basically swung the, the least amount of any hitter in baseball in September. Um, but I think he's going to make adjustments to the 21-year-old with this freakish athletic talent and a fantasy. It's just a goldmine with the steel and, and, and homer combi- combination. So, yes, there's a risk but I'm willing to take it. He can play defense. That's why I think yeah. part of the problem, it'll help him not be demoted. Not only is he the face of the franchise, but guy can play defense. So I think that helps him as well. Yeah, I'm a little more skeptical about O'Neill's defense um, and the idea that that, it's, it, it's so complicated. Okay, so like O'Neill's defense is worse, right? But like O'Neill is more guaranteed to play regularly because the Pirates are more reliant on him from a roster building perspective. However, it's like, okay, do you trust O'Neill's approach to improve or Ellie's approach to improve more? Because O'Neill just missed like a whole season of games. However, he's older. He has more experience that would make you want to trust him a little bit more. I think as a whole, I lean towards Ellie. And I think that is a flawed perspective, even as I just said it, because I think we're underrating O'Neill a little bit and that if Ellie didn't exist we as an industry on the fantasy side and not would be gung-ho over o'neill like yeah. ellie has warped our brains o'neill totally. was unlike anything we'd ever seen and then ellie showed up <laughs> <laughs> the next year and so that's not really fair yeah just to, to finish on o'neill i didn't touch on as much but he is the hardest hit ball in stat cast history you look at his career numbers compared to, to ellie very similar except the stolen bases so he's just a reasonable facsimile to de la cruz only three rounds later in fantasy so why not draft both those what i say i mean i, I like both these guys as upside <laughs> 